Welcome to Keeping the Street with SKP TV, the interview series. Today we have a special guest. What up, though? It's Big Joe. What's going on? Let's get into these questions. What's the meaning behind your name? Shit, um, my name always been Joe, but the big part, uh, it really came from my homeboy. No, 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 his name Big No. He started calling me that and something like that. And my name was really finna be Baby Joe because I had a little, little boat going on, so everybody went with the big Joe, like keep Big Joe. So we just rolled with that. Where are you from? The west side of Detroit. I, I was born on West Warren, grew up on Finkel and Hubble. That's the hood that raised me. How old were you when you started rapping? Mm, I think I was like, probably like 21. I've only been rapping for like a year, almost two years, I think. Who are two artists that influenced you and why? Um, DJ Quick and Payroll Giovanni. And I say them because, um, shit, they be they self, man. They bosses and hustlers and, you know what I'm saying, they real, they real genuine people. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't, just the way they carry themselves type shit, you know, they don't do too much. What was one of the hardest things you had to deal with growing up? Uh, shit. Man, everybody calling me a fucking girl, man, because of my damn hair. <laughs> I had to deal with that shit a lot, man. That shit was so irritating. You ever wanted to cut it? No, I never, never. My mama did so many times, though, but me, uh-uh. Your hair make you? No, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's me. my superpower, my hair. If you could do a song with anybody living or deceased, who would it be and why? Uh, living. DJ Quick, for sure. Um... Hot boy from Florida. Besides that, I ain't. I don't really too much. I don't really too much. No. What about the deceased? Um, Tupac. That's about it. In your opinion, what are some pros and cons being an upcoming artist? Pros and cons. Uh, I don't really know too much about the pros. Yeah, but it's a lot of goddamn cons for sure. And them shit, uh, it's tough being an upcoming artist, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get everything out the mud, like, you know what I'm saying? It's, like, kind of hard to, you know what I'm saying, get where you want to be. Because ain't nobody, everybody ain't rocking with you, you know what I'm saying? They ain't following your way because you knew all that junk. It's, it's hard upcoming, though, for sure. So it's a lot of cons on that, but I don't really too much know the pros. Most definitely. If you had the chance to bury yourself and move to another state, where would you go and why? So, um, I just got a crib in Atlanta. But me personally, I think I need to be, I think I need to be living in Cali. So, probably both Cali, L.A. Mm -hmm. How is being a rapper from Detroit? Do you feel like you get love from the people in your city? Uh... Yeah, but at the same time, no, it's like, you know what I'm saying? They be one foot in, one foot out, you know what I'm saying? They be, they be like, they know you hard and be like, oh yeah, but uh, they be iffy about the support and something like that. But as far as everything else, though, everything else I do, like all my hustles and everything else, man, the city love me on that type of shit, though. It's like you already got to be known for people to want to support you. Why you think that is, though? Yeah. I don't know, man. It's just, I don't know. It'll just be a lot of dick sucking shit going on, for real, so. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Where does your influence come from? Uh, like far as like what, with music or just? Just being who you are today, where your influence come from? Did you believe you could rap? Did you? Um, I got different influences. As far as music, though, who influenced me to make music was my cousin, YBM Jimmy, and uh, Cash Kid, and my cousin Mel. That's, they really influenced me, for real. I really ain't care too much about it, but as far as, like, like just me and everything else, I say my big cousin, Jason, you know what I'm saying? And he really like my uncle for really like forty something. He influenced me a lot. Uh, 
Shoot, my pops for real. I gotta say him, my pops for real, man. He a, he a good dude. Showed me a lot. It's really about it. If you can get a beat from anybody local or mainstream, who would it be and why? Um, for sure, hell of a. I gotta say, hell of a. Me and hell of a were just talking about um, putting that together, so that's gonna be smooth right there. I always been wanting one for him. But far as hell of a, um, I don't really, I don't really know too many uh, producers like that. Okay. If not you, what other upcoming artists in your city believe you believe will blow up? Uh, if not me, shit, uh, YBM Jimmy, and I am Lovesky. If y'all don't know who they is, y'all need to know ASAP. What's one experience that happened in your life that made you who you are today? Uh, one experience. Me getting shot. For sure, yeah. Me getting shot. That, that opened my eyes about, about a lot of stuff for real. That's when I started rapping. Um, if there's any advice you can give another upcoming artist, what would it be? Um... Man, drop videos. I ain't even gonna lie. Drop videos and get your hustle on because this rap shit costs for sure. So drop videos and make money. You will be straight. If you could sign to any record label, what record label would you sign to and how much would it take for you to sign? Shoot, any major label for real. Like any high major label I sign to if the money right. If they coming over a million then I ain't turning down no M, but, but yeah, any major label though, if, if everything sounded right. For sure. What's one thing you can tell me about the music industry? Uh, it's fake as hell. <laughs> I'm gonna just put it like that. It's fake as hell. You know, no love and it. it's just, it's all over the place for real. For sure. Um, when is your next project? Is there anything we should be looking forward to? Um, I've been talking about two projects though, but I don't know when I'm going to do them, when I'm going to drop or something like that. I got a project, I'm, uh, no, I do got one I'm working on. It's called, it's called, um, Only a Matter of Time. It's Only a Matter of Time. And then I got another project that I want to do called The Baby of Five Mile. So, um, yeah, it's going to be how all everybody on there going to be from Finko and stuff like that, but. Yeah, don't know only two right now, but everything else I've just been working on solos. What's your relationship with Cash Kid and J Swan? I know y'all used to be together all the time. Mm, shit, them all, them all my uh, my boys for life for sure. You know what I'm saying? We we all still cool. We just don't be together a lot like how we used to though. But yeah, them all brothers for life though. All right, man. This is a lyrical breakdown of my single. No hook that everybody been asking about a part in um, what I say. I say I be in MIA with the top back. I know a bitch that suck it all like a shot back. Hell cat rango, I think I'm finna cop that. If I was King Von Mans, I know I would have shot back. What I mean by that part is if something was to happen to my mans while we out, you know what I'm saying? I ain't leaving them hanging. So, you know what I'm saying? They gotta get dealt with. You feel me? R.P. King Von, respect to him and his crew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Loyalty is law and that's facts. Alright, y'all. Y'all follow me on Instagram at It's Big Joe, I T S B I G G J O. YouTube, y'all find me at B I G G space J O, not J O E. But yeah, I want to give a shout out to all my supporters and all that. If you a rapper out here, you upcoming, man. Get that bread, keep your hustle going on. Yeah, stay true to yourself. Y'all gonna be smooth.